Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here. Happy to bring you another Silver Stack Showcase. And this week we're going to look at some of my coins and rounds. Sorry about this slightly bouncy video, but I'm in a different place here. We're doing a silver stack showcase. It's been a while since I've done anything like this and I wanted to share with you uh, a good chunk of my coins and rounds and uh, just kind of talk about why I have a lot of this stuff. You'll see there's quite a bit of variety here um, and this you can definitely tell the collector in me likes to go out there and uh, find some uh, unique items when I'm uh, you know doing my hunts and uh, uh, surfing online. So I uh, just want to you know wanted to share this with everybody there's been a lot of uh, great uh, support from our community I've seen some videos there with some shout outs to me and uh, um, I'm gonna do a few videos uh, for those people as well and it's just it's just been fantastic and I just wanted to share uh, some of what I've been able to pick up along the way in my my you know time stacking silver so um, these ones here are actually my wife's favorite Miss Canadian Silver Saver might be a little hard on the camera here but you'll see yeah, you can see it. So see this one here? These are the privateer rounds. I only have four. I'm missing the first one. So if anybody wants to hook me up with a good deal on the first one or a trade maybe, that'd be, that'd be sweet. Um, but these ones here, see how much more dull this one is? This is the one we we touch. Uh, this is people, sometimes you want to hold something like this, right? Like it feels nice. So this is the one that's been handled without gloves. All the rest of them have only been touched with gloves. And you can just see the huge difference in the, uh, the shine on them. Very nice, though. Over here. Kraken. That's pretty sweet. You may not see it on the uh, camera there, but they pop right out of there. And the edge is actually s slightly raised above the um, design, so it keeps the design in pristine condition. I've seen some really cool ones of these. And you know what? Mr. Zeke, if you're uh, watching this video, maybe I can talk to you and we can get one of these uh, black and uh, that'd be pretty fantastic to have done and add that to my community stack. So if you've got one, you can blacken and I can trade you out or we can talk about that. That'd be fantastic. That'd be a treat for my wife because they're, they're her favorite. So uh, this is my, I've had this for, for quite a while, but this is my, I, when I feel like a big man uh, beer coaster. <laughs> I actually use it every day uh, for my coffee or my beer. It sits on my desk as my beer coaster uh, or my drink coaster. Uh, just kind of a nice little shout out there. So, um, or, you know, a little shout out to my silver stack community uh, uh every time i'm sitting there i think about people and i'm like you know what this is the smart way to invest um we saw this is the recent fuji coin i'm not going to go through every single one here in super detail but this fuji coin turns out there's a uh, some good um you know good it's a, a unique one because it doesn't have the queen on the back i guess this was the only year that they did that so that was pretty awesome to find out and then uh the african one here pull it out I only have the one. Just saw a video with another one featured, so they're pretty cool. Um, Smalley Republic, 100 shilling one there. So uh, I got a few walkers. I don't have a lot. Um, it's kind of weird. I got more. I got more in my kind of my at home. I can play a stack though. These ones are the ones that are a little bit better condition, so I just wrap them up. But uh, yeah, so I just got a few of those in the away permanent Heidi stack. Um, and then uh, you know Britannia. I only have the one here. I just picked this up not that long ago, and then we did a feature on that. So I encourage everybody to check that out. That was one of my uh, history lessons. I'll put the link to that below. History of the Britannia coin. I had a lot of fun doing that video as well. Um, got a few koalas. I've, I don't I don't get a lot of this stuff. And I've picked these up recently. If you've seen my recent Silver Hunt Sundays, I've been picking these up because of the price of silver dropping. Um, so to me, the, getting the premium back on these is going to be pretty easy. And I was only paying a few dollars over spot for these, like kind of crazy. I, th I think I think it was $4. Yeah, it was $4 over spot I paid for these. So that's a great deal. Um, and then uh, the kookaburras, we showed you that. That was the same uh, in the same time frame. Uh, the kookaburras there. One of these kookaburras is going out to a friend out in the community there, Golden Arms. Uh, and do a shout out video to Golden Arms very soon. Um, I'm in, in production, that is, actually. Just, there you go, buddy. There's my... 
Um, but uh, yeah, so this is uh, they're pretty nice. One of these is going off to him. We're going to do a trade, and then we're going to do a little feature featurette, I guess. Um, these uh, these Libertads, these are just the newer ones. I don't have a lot of the newer ones because I prefer picking up the older ones. I find the older Mexican uh, Libertads, honestly, I don't know. I like them more. These are these are I don't know too clean, too nice. Is that is that okay to say? Um, it's all personal preference, right? And the, I mean, these are beautiful. Don't get me wrong, everybody. These are, these are fantastic, uh, round. Um, they really are, are nice, but I just, there's something about the, uh, the Mexican silver here, the, uh, or they're, I guess they're both Mexican, but the older Mexican silver, the older Libertad's with it on the side. Um, I hear a lot of people referring to these as onzas. They're both onzas. That's just ounce, <laughs> but, uh, because they don't have them written on the side anymore. So it doesn't actually say the Libertad there. So I, I don't know if that's why. But I love these. Love these. And I, I, I pick, I'm going to pick up as many many of these as I can. Um, doing a life career change, as everybody kind of knows. And uh, it's been watching my channel. So i got to be mindful of my stacking. And I try and flip some of the premium stuff to get more more silver in the stack as I can right now. But I uh, um, love, the, love the, those ones for sure. Um, and then we've got, uh, I've got, this is this one sits beside my bed. Sits in a little statue beside my bed, and it's the uh, Listen to All, Follow None, the Silver Shield, uh, Grammar, Logic, Rhetoric. And on the other side, just the Silver Shield. Um, beautiful, great channel, great conversations. Uh, but this one is just kind of a reminder to me of what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and uh, a lot of it's about this here. You know, I got a logical thinking, people, logical thinking. Um, so I have, I have quite a few of those different, uh, I have the Freedom Girls. I really like the Freedom Girls. Uh, I just can't spend the money on the proofs. If anybody wants to be generous and send me a proof, I'll trade you. <laughs> Oops, oh dear, here we go. Freedom Girl down, Freedom down. That might be the problem in a few days. Um, so yeah, I've got two of those. I just picked up a couple. I got a good deal on them, so they're nice. Put them in the flip case there. I've got the AG Bull from that series as well. Same on the back. Uh, I've handled this one a little bit. You can tell by the coloring and, uh, and the toning. Um, sorry about the lighting there, people, but I'm not in the usual place. I'm doing my best. You might hear a fan in the background or some type of uh, fan or air conditioner unit or something here. Um, but uh, I just thought this was symbolic. AG. AG bull. Perfect. Exactly what it's all about right there. Um, these are some of my favorite ones. Oh, let's just show these really quick. These are just the buffaloes. Nothing super special. I have some more at home. Um, but these are... Uh, there's some... Uh, sunshine mint ones in there and then there's some of the standard regular buffaloes i find a lot of these are milking it's weird uh, but anyway it doesn't matter i don't care it's bullion uh you know so just speaking of i don't care it's bullion let's just go to a there's a controversial coin here i'm gonna go get it this one back here <laughs> this is the uh the thunderbirds and this is the one that caused all the controversy. And to be honest, one of my favorite things that happened on the YouTube community, we got a lot of conversation going. Uh, this was about how to clean a coin with that uh, jeweler's cloth. So that was a lot of fun. So got those back there um, with all the maples here as well. Um, these are the, the RCM sealed maples. I've got a fireworks pervy one here. Um, this is just an older one. And then an older one, and then I've got one here with the uh, rooster on it, which is nice because it's sealed right from the mint, which is cool. Uh, I've got a few more of the maples here, nothing super fancy. Uh, one of them has my son's birth year on it, which is uh, symbolic to me, and it's actually his coin. Um, a couple of the privy ones as well. We see these a lot. These are usually what I intro my video with. Uh, i got the wolf on there and the monkey. Uh, really just out of circumstance why I have those particular ones. Uh, but, you know, it's representative of what I... Me being Canadian, and I am proud Canadian, even though uh, my family's from overseas. I've been here my entire life, and I'm going to share that upcoming, everybody, and that's kind of a lead-in from this. I want to share a little bit about me, and then I'm going to share a little bit about me personally and where I came from uh, and why I stack. I'm going to show you some of the history, some of my old collectibles from growing up, things like that. So, um, the uh, I like the reverse proof, too, because the... It's like their way to deal with the milk spotting. Uh, a couple of birds of prey ones. These ones are new. We just saw me get these the other day. So they're good. Whatever. Bullion, but uh, came with capsules, so they stay in the capsules. A uh, friend just did a uh, video on these. I believe Silver Torch. I'm trying to remember all the names out there, people. I'm sorry if I haven't showed you out in this particular video, but I will. Um, Silver Torch just did a feature on these. Um, you know, Silver Torch's feature videos are pretty fantastic, everybody. They're well done. Uh, 
the voice is just you know calming to listen to and good information so i encourage you to check it out but check that out eh? how it kind of shines there can't remember it's because of the way that the design is so there's the queen again um yeah they're nice and i am a huge superman fan uh, i get got teased about it a little bit but i have a cape hanging in my house i have statues i've signed merchandise um i that's part of the collector in me but i a uh, huge superman fan so i just needed to have a couple of those for sure the fills here I call them my fills um i've got a few that are more toned than others just how i pick them up these ones i picked up uh, i think pretty much new um but i i like the fills. they're pretty simple um i like the clean edge uh, so I just, these are one of those ones where I like to pick them up. And there's some milk spotting, everybody. You know, we talk, and I heavily talk about how that's rampant when it comes to uh, um, Royal Canadian Mint. And it is all over the place. So should probably get this moving here, though, everybody. I don't want to take you too long, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to share. Got my Pegasus one here. Yeah, representative there. Perfect. So goldsilver.com. Another great uh, channel to check out. The tut round. This is or a coin. This is actually a coin. There you go. Republic of Chad. Really cool. Five ounce. I love this one. And obviously good to handle. Um, the stack rounds. I like them, but the premium's so high on these. So that's why I only have the two. So I can stack them. <laughs> I don't want to have just one. That's no fun. Um, there, there's a lot of detail. Uh, there's a university around me. Kind of has a design like this somewhere but there's a uh, it, it's pretty neat they uh, I like them I like how they click together and I want to get a couple of the five ounce ones and that'll pretty much be it because of the premium um, so uh, what else do we have to show off a little bit here oh yep going back to the silver shield rounds um, there's the two ounce spreading debt and death with the exploding bloody eagle thing with guns and whatever <laughs> really cool though i got that for five dollars off on a deal from goldsilver.com so that was sweet just did an order from them as well that i'll share when it comes in it has a free shipping deal uh, golden arms actually did a video where you talked about that and uh it alerted me to that deal so thank you buddy um uh, these are my uh my, my my i guess rounds that i just pick up along the way they're just different i've, I've shared them so i'll just kind of flip them over those are the same oh ohio precious metals one i believe they're gone uh, this one's kind of neat stick i like chunky silver that one there that's cool different um and their liberty silver there and then this one i just picked up too that's kind of cool. If anybody sees anything in here that's rare or uh, I might not know something about, please let me know. And this is an example of that right here. So I picked this up. I'm a Montreal Canadiens fan and a Patrick Waugh fan, actually, even though he was a jerk when he left the team. Sorry, Patrick Waugh, you, you were. Uh, but uh, this is a limited edition, one troy ounce um, coin from 1993. And I can't find anything about it at all. I can only find the Mario Lemieux one. Um, I can't find anything about this. So anybody want to share and tell me, please let me know. Um, I just want to know some info. That'd be great. Um, got the kook. It's my only sealed one. I picked it up for a good deal. We'll see how that goes over time. Um, we just featured these. These I just got here. So I'll just quickly... I uh, just showed those. There you go. Very good. Very nice. Uh, very nice coins. Uh, they're actually up for sale. Um, it's not something I normally have, and I'll, I'll flip it and uh, maybe buy some, put it towards some gold or some more silver. And I also just got these with part of it, the painted one and the non-painted one. So I basically picked it up kind of like a set there. So that was cool. And they're mint sealed, which is awesome. Perth Mint's got beautiful stuff, everybody. Whoa, stuck on the glove. Oh, no. Yeah. Dragon clawed me. I showed that. Um, I don't have a lot of fractional silver, but I've got this here. It's just some of these. I picked them up uh, from a gold silver deal or gold silver silvergoldwool.com deal pardon me there's a superman coin this was a gift from my old workmates thank you everybody i do miss you but i don't miss i don't miss things <laughs> I, my new life is still getting started but uh i'm a very happy man right now and then this one here i picked this one up and i will buy this because you're well i mean the weird part is is that's a 25 dollar coin and you know when i'm trying to explain that i take this in and they're gonna well, where are i take this and they're gonna give me a Freaking five dollars for it at the bank, or I can take this and I'm gonna get twenty five dollars. It doesn't make any sense to me. Seven grams, you know, what else? Um, but I picked this up because uh, it is basically like cash. But I like the coloring on it. It's very representative of um, 
Canada, and I thought that was really cool to have. So I got this one there the other day as well. Very neat. It's my only one like this, the Atmex one. So I think that's it. Oh, no, forgot the goat. There we go. Here the goat. This was actually one of my first uh, uh, bullion purchases, this goat, a long time ago. I shared it in the video, um, you know, kind of when I started the channel as I got it, but it wasn't, uh, I think it was this one anyway. I don't know, I can't remember. It might, have, might be the other one, but they're pretty sweet. Um, cool. That's it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed uh, just me sharing my uh, my coins and rounds in this uh, feature of Silver Stack Showcase. When I do another Silver Stack Showcase, it'll be on my poured bars and things like that. I'm wor working on uh, um, you know a few different videos and uh, really looking forward to sharing that with everybody. Great community out there, uh, having a lot of fun, and uh, really looking forward to um, you know the comments and getting some more ideas from everybody. So take care. Hope everybody enjoyed. And Canadian Silver Saver out.